That I may know him. All of that stuff is lost. All of that stuff is waste. All of that stuff is literally done in, in, in comparison to knowing Jesus Christ. That's the passion behind this. That's what he's saying. These words are straight from the heart of a man that knew God and wanted to know God more. So what does he have to say? What's his, story? What's his desire in all of this? I think it leads up to this verse. To these verses right here. That I may know him. That I may know him. That's what it leads to. And it seems like a simple statement. And my fear with this is that we're going to hear this statement. We're going to say amen because we believe it. But we're going to miss the gravity of what Paul is saying. We're going to miss the, the, the passion that is just flowing out of Paul's heart. That this is, this is all he wants. This is it. The greatest missionary that this world has ever known. A man that knew God better than anybody in this room and probably all collectively. Is saying, I want more Jesus. I want to know him. I want Jesus. This is not just a statement from Paul. This is a life statement from Paul. So I want you to see, I'm going to give you two points today. Okay, I know all good Baptist preachers have three points in their messages. But I have two today, okay? So I'm only 66% of a good preacher today, all right? I want to show you just two things. One point from verse 10, one point from verse 11. The first thing I want you to see is Paul's ambition in life. Paul's ambition in life. <clears throat> what was his goal? What was his purpose? I mean, read his letters. What did, what did Paul want more than anything? I'll tell you what he wanted. He wanted to know Christ. He wanted to know Christ. That's it. Now, when we're talking about knowing him, what do we mean by knowing Christ? We're talking about knowing Christ as our Savior? Well, yeah, everyone, everyone needs to know Jesus as their Savior. And that, by the way, that's an experiential knowledge. It's not just a head knowledge. It's something that, that has to take place in the heart where you have to make a conscious decision to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior and to accept him as, as, as the propitiation or atonement for your sins. You have to make that as a, a conscious experiential knowledge in your life. But is that what he's talking about? He's not talking about, I want to know more information about Christ. D is that how you want to know your life? Husbands, I'd like to know more information about this woman. Well, first of all, I'm sure every husband would. All right? God, where's the owner's manual? You know, we're not owner's manual. That sounds bad. But do you know what I mean? 